You might be familiar with this picture. Thousands upon thousands of people, all wearing the same clothes and gathering somewhere in Saudi Arabia. This is the Hajj, the Muslim pilgrimage, and here are seven things about it that you probably didn't know. You might have seen this, the big black cube. The Kaaba is a huge stone structure that sits at the heart of the Grand Mosque, Islam's most sacred place of worship. Pilgrims circle the Kaaba counterclockwise seven times at both the beginning and the end of Hajj. It's a ritual called Tawaf. Pilgrims also typically travel back and forth between two hills called Safa and Marwa for also seven times. It's not entirely clear why it's seven specifically, but seven is a prominent number associated with the divine in many religions, including Christianity and Judaism. It might surprise you to know that the Hajj generally has very little to do with the Prophet Muhammad. It actually commemorates the life of another Prophet, Ibrahim. Yes, Abraham, who is also a key figure in both Judaism and Christianity. He was the one who rebuilt the Kaaba with his son Ismail. And Hajj rituals mostly follow the struggle of Ibrahim, his wife and son in surrendering their wills to God. We've heard a lot of debates in the West about a Muslim's face veil or niqab. Well, one place where it's definitely not allowed is on the Hajj. Women are expected to cover their hair with headscarves similar to mine, but the face veil and burqa are not permitted in Hajj. You know what else? The pilgrimage industry is Saudi Arabia's second most important after oil and gas. The tourism sector contributes $22.6 billion to Saudi Arabia's economy, with Hajj providing nearly half of it. And the Hajj is really expensive. The average price of a Hajj package ranges between $4,000 up to $10,000 here in the UK. Selfies? Not welcomed in Hajj. The Saudi authorities forbid taking photographs, whether with camera or a mobile phone, at some of the holy sites. Any violation of official instruction could lead to confiscation of your device. The idea is to make pilgrims focus entirely on their spiritual journey. But this is not easy to enforce when you have millions of people all keen to have a memory from the once-in-a-lifetime journey. The Hajj takes five days and towards the end of it comes Eid al-Adha or the Festival of Sacrifice. Muslims worldwide celebrate by slaughtering an animal, usually a sheep. This is another part of the ritual that relates to Prophet Ibrahim. It commemorates the willingness of Ibrahim to sacrifice his son Ismail as an act of obedience to God before God intervened to provide him with a ram to sacrifice instead. Finally, performing a Hajj is considered a great accomplishment for Muslims. In some cultures, people even add the title in front of their names to signify their accomplishments, so they are Hajji. The Hajj absolves Muslims of past sins, so before the Hajj to be travels to Mecca, it's very common for people to ask their relatives, friends and acquaintances to forgive them.